The first time that I got familiar with the Meze Audio headphones was with the 99 Classic. Everyone was speaking about it, everyone was reviewing it, I tested and was not bad, just was too boomy for my personal taste. But fortunately, not this time. If you want to know why, be ready because today we are going to review the new Meze 109 Pro. The 109 Pro is the first open back dynamic headphones from Meze, and the first time that I tested it was this year to the Ike Hand Munich Show 2022. And I will let the video of the tour of the Ike Hand Munich in descriptions is really interesting. And this time was different. Was not booming, so I was satisfied with still conserving a uh, some quality, some signature that is, let's say, accessible to the mess. The dynamic driver has a 50 mm diameter with a 40 ohm impedance and 112 decibel sensitivity. So it's not hard to drive it. I also connect it directly to my smartphone with these adapters and absolutely no problem. So I notice it that you will not need any fancy stuff to drive it, but connected to also something highly, highly affordable like the iFi hip deck. We review it, I will let it in descriptions. I also compared the old one with the number two. It will give you this dynamic and energy that you need in complex passages and music genre, like classic music, for example. In any case, connected directly to your smartphone, also with these cheap adapter cables, it was playing already loud at 80% of the volume, so absolutely not hard to drive. The 109 Pro arrived in this hard case box that this time is slightly bigger than the 99 Classic case, but you will have enough space also for a portable duck. Beautiful internal velour, really well made, I have nothing to say, it's just slightly big, take it in consideration, but it's absolutely not a problem. Like 99 Classic materials are high, high quality, real walnut woods for the cups and a dynamic driver that consists in a combination of beryllium and carbon fiber. Link in descriptions from Meze, so if you want some more details about it, is everything really clear here. Just look gorgeous, no plastic, all aluminum. So I think that we are all agree that Meze is doing first class premium headphones, regarding, of course, the construction's quality. Comfort is superb, 375 gram, but really you feel 200, 250, this Headband mechanism is just the best one that I ever test in any headphones. It reminds me the iFi Man. We have here also the Ananda that we will compare it later. But it has a slightly different mechanism because here we don't have any springs. I can wear it for hours and hours without any problem. Thanks also to the springs mechanism that is combined with this large soft surface support. Something also really positive is the internal ear caps holes that is now large enough. 99 Classic for me was too small for my ears, but of course this is something subjective. I found that now are standard size, still not big like the Ananda for example, that are pretty huge, or the Sennheiser HD 800S, but for me at least they are okay. Is something subjective, absolutely. About the balance, and I will say that it's good. They also pass my <laughs> shake test that is well stable when you wear it. Something also really beautiful is the yoke that now can rotate 360 degree, make it absolutely comfort for any head size and type. The lure heel pads are not crazy soft and enough thick to doesn't let your ears touch the driver. At least for me. It's an open back headphone, so I will not speak about isolations because it has nothing, so take it in consideration. As 
set up configurations, I told you that I tested with the hip deck and something uh, interesting in the hip deck that you have the possibility. Where is the hip deck? Here. There is a X base button and if you push it, you will have something like 10 dB on the base of crazy. And if you love hip hop genre, you will just enjoy it. I didn't got so much distortions and was really plentiful so it's nice to see that they can handle also an extra bass. As desktop amplification I use my reference SPL Pointer XE with the internal digital to analog converter 768. Love it. Absolutely is one headphones amplifier that I love and I will let it in descriptions the review is already on my channels. And I have to say that also moving to a, such an expensive setup I could still improve the 109 Pro. That is definitely a resolving headphones. All great, but how it sounds? Well, let's start with the bass. That is strong, weighty, and is giving authority to music contents. Is finally not boomy. Maybe also thanks the, to the open designs. I don't know. But is definitely losing something in the sub bass. That is slightly rot off. So if you will find yourself listening something like, for example, this brand of starting points, you will still enjoy it, but more with a low bass coloration rather than a sub bass deepness. Something that I noticed, for example, compared with the old model of Focal Utopia. So sub bass textures here is not well defined, but we are speaking about a very expensive headphones with one that is still affordable, let's say like that. A great sub bass example is also BAM of Jay-Z with Tamian Marley, where the 109 Pro is struggling a little bit in the sub bass contents. But moving, for example, on Ball of NWA, I start to enjoy more the bass contents and the track. So for giving you an idea. Overall, I have to say this is a well-balanced bass, fast in complex passages with respectful details compared to more expensive dynamic headphones. And it's something that I still prefer in dynamic driver compared to planar magnetics is, for example, to touch and feel bass lines also in track like this. Mid-range is open, transparent and slightly forwarded. I don't want to say in your face because we are speaking about headphones, but yes, definitely vocals and instruments have a big spotlight and a little bit of priority. In any case, it has a superb timber accuracy on male voices and instruments that are reproduced in a faithfully way. The only things that I noticed it was with female voices, not all, but sounds like, for example, Amy Winehouse, that was sounds to me slightly too much masculines and voices like Whitney Houston, for example, that was like a little bit in sweetness. I found it slightly fat, not too much, but also is something subjective, of course, and it's fine that you don't agree with me. It has a great instruments attack and a good separation. Listening for the new Revolver remix from Beatles, for example, there is this beautiful song, Love You Too, there is a lot of beautiful instruments like sitar, tambura, and I could focus on any instruments without problem. Actually, do you like this remix, this new remix? Because I saw a lot of YouTubers that say that they don't like it because it mm, maybe is not too much closer to the Beatles and probably that's fine, but I really enjoy it because I didn't grow up with Beatles in 70s. I was... When I started to listen to music was in, let's say, 90s with Madonna, Michael Jackson, so other stuff. And I find this remix more modern and more closer to my personal taste. I know that older guys will not agree, but I find this remix really more pleasant. So I like it. I actually like it. And what you think about it? Just let me know. Triple performance, I found it slightly bright and aggressive but something really interesting that was never fatigue. But let me break it down. 
109 Pro treble is well extended and hits high notes with no strain. Hikes that aren't relatively airy but with good textures and details. Upper treble is emphasized. This means that if you are jazz, music general lovers like me, for example, you will find cymbals that are too strong, too much emphasized and forwarded. And yes, definitely is not a uh, headphones, my favorite headphones for listening jazz music. But here we have to speak about equalizations and around 14 kilohertz I equalized with the RME added to that that we, I tested with these headphones or also I have another software. I give something like minus four, minus five, uh, around 14 kilohertz and was more balanced and more pleasant. So it's definitely you can touch it a little bit if you want, of course, with the equalization. At some stage I found that this was large enough to create a sense of space around your head, but not expect the soundstage of the HD800S, that is still the king of soundstage. About imaging and instruments locations doesn't have any dead points, is, is fine, is good, but I was not impressed from it. So it's not what I would like to call laser focus imaging, but it's good. Let's say that I can isolate any instrument in critical listening without problem. So I compared it, the 109 Pro with the iFi Man XS and Ananda. And I have to say first that between XS and Ananda, the sound quality is, is pretty similar. There is, there is small difference, but we will see it in details in next review. Anyway, the big difference is regarding the comfort that here the winner is absolutely the Ananda. It has this similar mechanism, headband mechanism, like the editions, no, not editions, 109 Pro. So regarding comfort, my favorite is absolutely the Ananda. And the sound quality is slightly better, but closer to the editions XS. Anyway, how I look, let me read what I wrote about it. The 109 Pro especially in classic music has more authority and impact compared to the iFi Man that has more textures. 109 Pro also in strings passages, for example, is more congested with less micro details compared to the editions XS or Ananda that presents also a slightly bigger soundstage. Okay, so I have to say that it is pretty subjective and is a hard choice between the two I have to say because I like it both, but definitely this one, it has more textures and more speed, especially in strings, you will hear all the strings and the fingers. So I really enjoy it when we are speaking about micro details and the balanced sound signature, but it's hard to drive. So take it in consideration that you will need a good headphones amplifier. 109 Pro, it has a better sub bass extensions compared to the planar magnetics from the Hi-Fi Mans. It has more impact, especially for deep house, electronic music, progressive music. Here you will have all the authority that you will need, body and presence. And regarding rock and metals, I prefer the Editions XS or the Ananda. I found it more crispy with more vibe, more electrical, especially with electric guitars. So I hope these small suggestions can help you to choose between the two. And if you have any questions, just let me know. So in the end, Meze is really going in the right directions with the 109 Pro. There is still some small work to do in terms of micro details, especially in string instruments. And I didn't understood why such a aggressive treble, but I was impressed that was never fatigue, even after six, eight hours of listening sections that I did with. Construction quality and comfort are A+, plus, make it probably until now my favorite dynamic open headphones under 
1000 grand. 1000 grand? 1000 bucks. Anyway, this was my review of the Mesa 109 Pro. I hope you guys enjoy it and that was not too much annoying. Like buttons and subscribe to the channels. Take it in consideration at least for support my work. See you. Thank you.